So I have a grid on my block with a toothed surface. I have my marquetry panel filled with mastic and sanded with 60 grit paper. And I have a grid on that too. These all line up and match. And then these lines on the edges help me place the panel accurately because if you can see this panel overlaps the block, which is what I wanted. I also have little divots here that I made so I know where my drill bit needs to go. And this is a number 60 drill bit because that's what fits with the veneer nails I have. So I can line this up. And this part's a little difficult because it wants to shift around all the time. So I'll check that. this over, keeping everything in place, and I grab a veneer nail, so I have one veneer nail, and it comes in, and it goes right in that hole. I'm just going to lightly tap it in place. I don't go far because this is just holding this in its spot now. Now I need to take the whole block, get everything lined up. I'm going to stretch the panel out so it's nice and tight against the block. Now I'll come back over here, line this back up, we'll check everything again. Okay. And now I'm going to take another veneer nail. I'm going to check to make sure that once this nail is in, it's still going to be nice and tight. This is an upholstery hammer, which is not really the best thing. Okay, so I can look at it. Everything here is going to lay flat. Okay, I don't nail these in all the way, just a little bit to get the hole started. Okay, so now we're going to take it inside and in the press, and I'll show you what to do next. So we're using fish glue because of the bone. And because we're using these nails, we can use a lot of glue. You don't have to be stingy with it. So you apply it just like regular hide glue. I'm actually going to put a little more. One little trick that I found for bottles of old brown glue and fish glue with my electric uh, glue pot, I can just take the uh, copper pot out and I'm going to set the bottle right in there and then it'll warm it up. Okay, so now glue goes on the marquetry panel. One thing you'll notice is that the toothed surface takes a lot more glue because there's a lot more surface area, whereas this sanded surface of the marquetry panel doesn't take nearly as much glue. You can see how thick the layer is, even with less glue than was applied here. And I'm making sure to get glue on everything. It doesn't matter if you get glue on your hands or in your work area because it'll all just come off with water really quickly. Okay. So I know that this is my bottom because I have top marked here. This is one of the most important parts. You don't want to put this on upside down. It makes it very difficult to fix. Okay. So this can go on here now. And I can take my veneer nails. You can see how slick this surface is. It slips around. So now I can take my veneer nails, put it through the hole, and line it up with the hole here. OK. 
anything. And I'm just going to give a light tap just to keep it in place. And I'm going to take another veneer nail and these initial nails will probably come out. They'll probably bend and then I'll put in fresh nails. Okay, so now the panel is located accurately. Okay. So now I'm going to put this on this aluminum plate down here. So if you want to switch over there. Okay, now I'm going to drive the nails in. And they always bend like that the first time. So I have long veneer nails. If you had short veneer, veneer nails, it wouldn't be a problem. But if you know they're going to bend, it's not a big deal because you can be prepared for it. Okay. So these are in deep enough now to where I can just bend them over to the side. And just hammer them in place. Now. It doesn't matter now because the panel's not going to move. And this is all getting cut off at about here. So this is all within the waist area. Now I can take this whole thing. Check everything one more time. Okay. It goes upside down on 16 layers of paper. The paper will account for any uh, differences in thickness in the veneer. And you can see here if I didn't have those nails in place, as soon as I put this down, it would slip all over the surface. But that's not going to happen now. So I have a quarter inch aluminum plate. Often these would be heated plates, but we don't need to do that because it's fish glue. I'm checking everything to make sure it's even inside the press. Okay, it needs to come this way more. And if you get glue on the end cap or your substrate outside of the marquetry, it doesn't matter. It'll just wash off with water. Okay, so that feels good. I always start with the middle first and press that down pretty well. In my mind, I see it as flattening out the panel uh, along the entire length, whereas if I started clamping down on the ends it would maybe only flatten it here and create a crinkle somewhere. So I do the middle, then the ends go in at the same time, and then the middle once more because the ends will tighten it. You want enough pressure, you want to try not to over tighten. So right there we'll do it. So then now, with this glue, you'll wait about four days. So you'll leave it in here for four days, and then you can take it out of the press.